Hi, this is Dan Hubbard with Upanor Fire Safety. Today we're going to talk about how to maintain your AquaSafe fire sprinkler system. Now because AquaSafe is integrated with your cold water plumbing, there's very little maintenance. If you have cold water coming out of your fixtures, you know that you're going to have water in your fire sprinkler system. However, there are a few things that you need to do in order to ensure that your sprinkler system is going to operate correctly. You don't want to stack objects near your sprinkler, so don't block your sprinklers. When you're moving objects near your sprinklers during construction projects or furniture, you want to make sure that you don't accidentally bump your sprinkler and cause damage. Never ever hang objects from your fire sprinklers and never ever paint your fire sprinklers. If you have piping in your attic, make sure that if you're doing work up there, you don't disturb the insulation. If you do disturb the insulation, make sure that you put it in the same spot that it was before. If you are going to be performing work in walls or ceilings where AquaSafe tubing may be located, use caution when doing so to avoid damaging the tubing. If you're making modifications to your systems, like adding water softeners, make sure you check with the designer that did the work on the project to make sure that that's going to be a possibility. After the work is done being performed on your AquaSafe system, make sure that your contractor attaches the Upanor warning sign at the shutoff valve in your house. It has the homeowner's instructions on the back side of it in case you forget any of these steps for maintaining your system. Taking these steps will help to ensure that your AquaSafe system is working properly in the event of a fire.